Good morning, everyone. This is Lauren with The Centrist, Inc., and it is Sunday, August 25th, 2024. What we are going to do right now is scroll through some posts on Twitter uh, that are going to be coming out of Ireland and out of various areas in the UK based on the epic situation in both those countries with violent migrant crime. So this first one is from Alex, uh, posted three hours ago. Time currently here is 10.53 a.m. So this was three hours ago in Lisbon, where a stabbing Muslim illegal young man with a machete in his hand is threatening people on the street. Suddenly the police arrive and ask him to drop the machete, but he resists. The officers rush at him and knock him down and beat him to a pulp. Share to see more of this. So we're going to just scroll down um, because I have several of these videos that I want to show you. And some of them come from some of the same people and um, because they are really all about this issue. So here's another one from Alex. Uh, he says a black stabbing Muslim man with a machete in his hand attacked a driver, causing damage to his vehicle, but the driver followed him and rammed him with his car. Then the pedestrians noticed what happened, joined in, and beat him up. Not all stories show weak people. So, you know, this is the reality on the streets over there and especially in particular areas, but is really spreading uh, wildly now. There's There's been a lot of knife crime and machete crime that has been going on since I've known about, since about 2017, under um, Sadiq Khan, the mayor of London. And but it's really gotten quite out of hand. Of course, anything is unacceptable, but it's just an epidemic now um, because the migrant crime um, is just uh, escalating and it's very dangerous over there. There was a recent stabbing where three little girls were stabbed in the yoga studio. I posted about that. Um, here's another one, again, from Alex. This one comes out of Germany, and they, they just seem to come out and go on these stabbing rampages. And, um, you know, there's a lot of citizen video on it. So there's that one out of Germany. Here's another one from a uh, Alex. Uh, black Muslims are not only stabbing people with knives, they are also arsonists. This one is in France, an illegal paid by French taxes, going on a deranged rampage and putting fire to a gas station. And the media is not showing um, these videos. You know, the most outrageous of the crimes they are, and they have, they have to show it. And we know that there were um, riots happening um, in the UK uh, a couple of weeks ago where they made several arrests where... Um, the citizens, the British citizens were coming out and challenging uh, hotel areas and, and various other things because guys like this, guys like what you're seeing right now, are causing crazy crime over there. And the parliament in UK is just doing everything they can to defend uh, the migrant situation, and they're bringing more in. You can go out on Twitter and you can see boat after boat, after boat of um, hundreds and of migrants coming in. So this is CC TV footage, shows the moments before and after a dad was murdered with a machete and a zombie knife in Birmingham in a stabbing spree that has taken over the United Kingdom due to the Muslims, Caribbean, and illegals coming in and He's saying, again, it's not shown on the media. There's just too much of it. I mean, it would take up the t entire evening news. That's how much of it is. 
I've seen numerous videos. Uh, one of the most outrageous videos I've seen recently is a gentleman was pushing his baby carriage and he was challenged by uh, an immigrant who stabbed him in the neck. And um, I think he died on the streets. You know, it showed later he was laying on the streets, you know. So very, very sad. Um, here is another one, a Muslim in London at the fish market on a stabbing spree, but he is stopped by the guards. And Alex is just all about, um, about these videos. And um, the reason I'm showing them is because I've seen these on other pages as well. This is, this is open source intelligence, folks. This is live cell phone video. And there is indeed a in, incredible problem over there. Okay, now this one's by Ian Miles Xiong, another one in Birmingham. Oh, this is the one I was just telling you about, okay? We're going to watch this a couple of times. A father protecting his family got stabbed in the neck by three youths who recorded the whole thing and mocked him as he bled out on the street. So this is a just a few seconds, and we're going to watch this again. Um, you can see um, in a foreign language there. Uh, so, wow, somebody's talking about it. Okay, here here's the confrontation, and there's the stabbing. Probably it he swung twice, so I don't know if he got him twice, but that is a vital target area and look at the blood on the street and he's got a dog and and a baby carriage and there he is i mean the guy is not going to is not going to make it so i don't understand why people you know they should be able to go out at and walk the streets in safety here is another one. Oh, that's the same one. Nine people stabbed uh, on August 23rd at a festival of diversity in Soligen, Germany. Reports of multiple fatalities. Um, this is one of the biggest things um, that has happened recently. And um, it's my understanding from reports that a young Syrian uh, has uh, turned himself in to the police in Germany, and they're also stating that this is an ISIS. Um, in, ISIS has claimed responsibility for this attack. So that is happening in Soligen in Germany. So keep your eye on that. This one as by BNO News. Um, here is construction site for migrant hotel to house hundreds of migrants in Dublin. So this is Dublin, Ireland. This is by Europe Invasion, who posts a lot uh, daily. And as you can see right there in the middle of the video, it says the liberal.ie. Both of these sites on Twitter are following, um, the daily reports of the migrant violence in the UK and in Ireland. And this is not the first building that the Irish have burned down. So um, they are not conceding or taking a knee to this at all. They're burning down their camps. And um, this is another uh, site as well. And it looks like an apartment building burning to the ground, you guys. So anyway, I believe that is about all we have uh, for right now. Uh, as I scroll down, here's a, well, here's another one by Concerned Citizen in Camden Town, London yesterday. Warning, this is a very violent clip. This was on August 15th, where um, a citizen who's trying to fight back uh, has uh, a bloodied head, and he's just been hit again by a guy who's holding a skate, you know, like a scooter. 
so that's a skateboard with a with a handle on it and that's a big guy look at him he's he's a big white man but you know these migrants know how to fight they really do so um that's what's happening there um and paul golding i've shown his video before he typically shows a lot of of the um mass gatherings of uh, various uh, people from the Muslim society, whether they be Pakistani or Syrian or Palestinian, and they're out in the street celebrating. And this one was on my last presentation. This celebration is the fact that um, the British citizens are being arrested for complaining on social media that Christians need to rise up and fight the Muslims because Islam is taking over their country. And that's what they believe. And so if you are somebody who makes a post and the British police see it, they will knock on your door, they will come in your house, and they will arrest you. So this is why they are celebrating, because essentially... This is a, a blasphemy law in effect where you cannot slander um, Muslims. You cannot call out their criminal activity. You cannot criticize them for what they do, which is uh, the law of slander under Sharia law. So this is them celebrating. If this isn't the takeover of your country, I don't know what is. So that's all I have for um, today. I had promised a second video on the, on the migrant crime situation. And, um, and there it is for you folks. And um, so keep an eye on some of these uh, people on Twitter. And you're going to see um, more of this as it's only going to get worse. Okay, and finally today, this comes out of Ireland, where citizens that live in a small village are recording the police uh, response to their standoff with some buses and vans that are coming in and bringing huge numbers of Islamic um, African migrants into their small little villages. They're frightened. You can hear the women um, crying, and they're telling the police what you're doing is wrong, and they won't be able to um, leave their houses anymore or walk in safety on their streets. This is a really important video. It's six minutes, and here we go. Here is Walt Norrie. Can you do that? Thank you. How are you going, folks? How are you? How are you? How are you? <laughs> Wonderful to be honest with you, protection, really. No. Awesome, so it has to be too. Except after all, if you don't mind, there's trucks and vehicles coming up beyond these guys, aren't they? Yeah, you're walking through. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Folks, I'm asking you to go back in after all. I'm sorry, you can't come any further. You You're committing an offence on the road traffic. No, we're walking. 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 we Pull over here. Stop pushing! Stop pushing! Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. No, it's our fault. Well, We've all done it every day. And now these guys are going to be walking out because of you. Calm down. Calm down. Jenny, back here. Okay. Are you happy now? They're all going to be walking these roads. It's easier for you. You're helping them. I can't go. I can't even move out of my house now and say, come. They don't have children. They have to walk in this town. If you want to walk on the road, you're in here. Lads, give her a chance. Give her a chance. Come here. Come here, lads. Ifa, come here. Come here. Everyone, lie your chest. Come on. Lie your chest. Lie your chest. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get it. Go that way. Go. 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 My daughter can't walk this road anymore. No, no, it's calm. Okay, so folks, I don't know about you, but 
if I were a police officer, that would really be weighing on my conscience because they've got to know that this is wrong, what's happening in Ireland, based on what you've seen everywhere in Sweden, France, Italy, Germany, and uh, in Britain. And now it's happening in Ireland, and the citizens don't want it, but they don't seem to be able to do to get their government to stop. They certainly did not vote for this, and they know what's coming. They know that their society is going to become much more dangerous. They're already in, in fear, and there has already been violent crime in Ireland. And the people that are fighting against this, against this that come out and they do videos on YouTube and they show their faces, these are uh, young men in their late 40s, I would say, most of the ones that I've seen, and you can tell that they feel like they are going into battle and that if they lose this battle or what they are taking um, the risk of is jail, jail time and the loss of their jobs and in extensive jail sentences because some of the jail sentences that we've seen that have come out of Britain lately have been two years two years for making a Facebook post saying, you don't want these people in our country. We don't want these people in our country. They're not like us. They're here to kill us. They're here to steal from us and take everything that we have. They are here to dominate us and they are here to replace us. And if you um, fight out against that, you are considered far right by the mainstream media and by your own government who will arrest you for expressing your grievance. So this is the state of things in Europe, in um, Ireland and in Britain, where the police are managing mass immigration and oppressing the native-born citizens who are complaining about the safety for themselves and their children while these violent migrants by the dozens are uh, stabbing the citizens in the streets. So this is Lauren Morris with the Centrist Inc. We are a United States nonprofit uh, charity for journalism and publishing. Uh, please take a tour around uh, the YouTube uh, channel here. Look at some of our videos. Go to the links. We have wonderful uh, experts and, uh, and analysts who are um, very knowledgeable. Um, they're prolific writers and authors and uh, national security uh, analysts at the top of their game. We bring you the best information that we can. So please like and subscribe and support our work. Thank you.